Mm. G'day YouTube, TKE here, wearing my new London Fog coat as you can see, and uh, wearing it around today because, well, why not? And um, I had some trouble with that crap that came from eBay, as I was telling you, and it turns out the trouble wasn't with the crap, it was with my crappy brain. Um, and I finally figured it out, now it works, and I could talk about the other stuff first, the stuff that was in the $5 and under bag, but I'm going to actually save that and just do the big re one of the bigger reviews right now. It is uh, another airsoft gun, came for me from uh, eBay, and about $60 for the uh, uh, Galaxy MP5K, one of the MP5K uh, submachine guns. Dig it. Now, as you all know, I was looking around for something sentimental, like, uh, I could've got a FAMAS, but the FAMAS actually didn't have as good stats as this, didn't have as high FPS or, or a rate of fire. It had a bigger clip, though. Um, and, yeah. Um, so what was I gonna say? Right, so I could've gotten that one. I wanted to get the Scorpion, obviously, the CZ Scorpion. It's like, the concept is, the thing, the reason, one of the reasons I don't like this is, one, it's been seen a little bit too much in modern pop culture, just like a little bit, like, you know, you saw it in The Matrix, and, um... A few other movies, and the thing, the matter of fact is that it's too recognizable, I think, and it's, it's sort of like, it doesn't, well, you know, it didn't come from Metal Gear Solid. Um, anyway, but I decided, well, it looks interesting, it's out of the ordinary, for function over form, I suppose, and it still looks kind of interesting, and, well, anyway, but, um, the problem that I have, one of the problems that I have with it is, 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 why do they call it, it's part of, really, it's, it's a Heckler and Koch, uh, 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 design, and Heckler and Koch has a whole big family called the MP5s. It's like a big family of guns. It's like a whole bunch of guns that are based, that this is like based off the MP5 design. The MP, original MP5, I don't know what it is. But apparently, and it's like, a, you know, basically it's, it's an MP5, and you know, there's an MP5 KZX and THC and, and you know, blah, 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 and all this stuff, you know, all the different variations of the gun, all the different styles. Um, sort of like how the AK, the AK-100 family has the AK-47, the AK-74, the AK-74U, um, the M-16 family has, uh, or the M family basically had the, uh, uh, M-16, the M-60, you know, it's basically the same design. But regardless, I just, I, 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 I would rather my guns, I would rather the guns have, like, you know, a very, very elegant form and a very, very elegant name and a very interesting history, which is, you know, I mean, like, Guns should have not have like numbers and bullets and symbols for their name. They should have like you know elegant names like the Ingobar Muck, the Uzi, Scorpion, Famaza. You know, uh, 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 I can think of more. Well, Tommy Gun, Thompson, Bar, Grand, Carbine. You know, I mean like interesting. I don't know, whatever. So MP5K is not really my my uh, in my dream gun, but it'll, it'll it'll do just for you know doing a little sport and stuff. I'm gonna call it a long sword. No, um. Well, we talk about the gun, but first let's talk about the packaging, eh? And I finally found a, 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 a reason, a use for this little space over here. Ah! So here we go. All right. Wow, it's so weird. This is where my TV was sitting, so it's kind of weird to get up here. Okay. This is the box that I came in. Look at the top of the box. Ooh, here's a okay. Yeah, SD5PDW. That's not what they were calling it on eBay. Apparently it has a hop-up ability, but I don't know nothing about that. Um, yeah. You got cores in the way. You've got um, whatever all this says, and a picture of the gun. Capacity. <sighs> Crap. It comes with well, capacity. You can either have 28 rounds or 50 rounds, depending on which magazine you're using. Um, comes with two magazines. Velocity: 320 FPS. It's actually better than my brother's, which I looked up, and it's like 300. Um, let's see, caliber: six millimeter. Action: select, semi-auto, full auto, safe, hop up, adjustable, uh, gearbox, metal, and comes with BB speed load. Now I'll explain that later. In the inside, you've got these instructions, which the instructions, well, what can be said about them? They're brief, they don't really, t uh, 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 I'm missing a part from this. They didn't include the stock. If I didn't want the stock, I'm not going to use the stock, but they didn't include the stock, those bastards. I don't know, maybe I lost it, I don't remember the stock being in there. Um, by the way. You use the instructions, it's got some graphs, it's written in okay English, but they don't go into detail. And because they don't go into detail, I've had so much problems, so many problems with this. First of all, let me talk to you about one, it's one of the biggest pains in the ass that I've discovered about this. There's two things, so, well, one thing so far is that the biggest problem with it is how you're supposed to get the battery pack in there. As you can see here, you've got these bolts, and these bolts are actually, if you push out, you can take the bolts out thus meaning that you can actually remove this if you take both of them off. I don't feel like it. You can see pictures of it when it's stripped down, like field stripped, basically. But, um, yeah, it's not what I want to do. And 
to do that, you have to take off this part and then this part, and you have to basically thread the ba battery through here. Yeah, you can actually see a bit of the battery there, which means that I don't know how this is supposed to come back, how this little, you know, fire altar or whatever the hell this is is supposed to come back, but it doesn't now. And then you have to thread, like, the thing through and attach it to the battery, or attach it to the little, you know, extra cord here. And the first time that I did it through, I accidentally doubled up the cord, and I got it jammed in there, and we had to try to get it out, and I had to get uh, 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 one of my family members to try to un help me un like, get it uncaught, and they started using uh, some tweezers on it, and it was like... <laughs> My mom used these, uh, you know, these hemostats, and she gripped the wire, and she accidentally tore open the wire, and I'm like, great, and we had to patch that up. Oh my god, it is a real pain in the ass to get the battery in this thing. That is a major flaw, I'm not gonna lie, and that is just one, that is one major detraction from the gun. For $60, it should have a, could have loaded in here, it could have loaded, I don't, I don't know, anywhere, could have loaded in the top, anywhere would have been better, but no, they decided not to. Um, well, it is loaded to the top then, sort of, um... Which, hey, whatever. Uh, that's one of the major flaws. Somebody actually suggested this, I, I think, on, on my YouTube page. It was after I ordered it. Someone said, why not do the Galaxy MP5? And um, the Galaxy is the company. Now, originally, the gun was made by, like, in the real world, this gun is made by Heckler & Koch. But in the airsoft world, it's made by Tokyo Marui or Galaxy or whatever. And um, they, I looked up on a website, and they're like, Galaxy MP5. A great gun, or the greatest airsoft gun. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? With a flaw like that, not the greatest. A great gun? Well, we'll see. Okay, so back to the box. I'm just going to put this over here in my laundry. <sighs> okay, back to the box. I'm going to have to split this into ten videos, you know it. Um, okay, so you get your instructions here. The instructions are somewhat helpful, but not really helpful. So we're just going to move them over here next to the HDTV. Which, yeah, uh, never mind. I had something to say, but I'm not going to. Um, okay, what else can I do? Okay, so underneath where it was, you have this little... Allen wrench, which is not really good for much, because I just, I just took the bolts out with my hands, damn. You have your um, BB unclogger, which I'm not going to take out. You have a useless strap. The strap is useless. And uh, whatever this thing is, someone can tell me what this is. Couldn't figure it out. Anyway, you got a useless strap here. Yeah, interesting color, you know, nice, whatever, you know. Why does everything come with lanyards? You're never going to use them. That was actually an Australian accent. Let me try that again. Come on. I'm not bad at accents. I'm not that bad. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to be Dr. Ashens. Okay, um... Why does everything come with lanyards? You're never going to use them. Oh, okay, that was horrible. Um... Whatever, anyway, but the point is, is, yeah, I'm not going to attach a strap to this thing because it's not a rifle. I can hold it in one hand. I mean, you know... Okay, um, go over here. Here was the thing I was having trouble with. Was the big 50 clip. Now, you can hear crap is rumbling around in there. That's because I actually figured out that you weren't supposed to load it the other way, that you were loading the one before. You're actually supposed to open this one and pour BBs in. I did not know that. The other one loaded differently. So it wasn't firing until I was loading it upright, and that's why I was having problems. This is the cute little 28 one, and the little 28 one loads in through here, and I'll show you how it loads. There is no little crank at the bottom. Oh yeah, you'll notice on this big one, there's a nice big crank. That's one thing I like about it. This little crank here is not, you know, it doesn't... It's not hard to find. The other, like, little ones are hard to kind of get the direction of and, you know, whatnot. Um, okay, so here's the clip. Um, 8 minutes and 35 seconds already. I cannot be talking that much. Um, yeah, everyone's laughing now. Okay, so I'll show you how it, uh, how it loads up. And I'll also show you another part. The BB loader. This is the speed BB loader, and I'll show you how it works because you don't just pour them into this. There's no like place to just pour them in. You actually have to physically stick them little nozzle in there, and then just and it only holds 28. And then you kind of just wait for the yeah. Then you feel resistance. And uh, yeah, I made a mistake of pressing down, depressing that little button there, saying I wonder if I can squeeze more in, and all 28 BBs just rocket right out. So. This thing, you can hear no rustling because it's all loaded in there like a regular pistol clip, right? So basically, I wonder if I can use it on my uh, on my pistols. Um, so basically, this thing, you know, just loads like that, and that's how I thought you were supposed to load this thing. I was wrong. This thing it worked with, this thing it didn't. Now it works with this one. I'm happy. Um, and then besides that, you just came with um, some BBs and a box with the power charger inside of it. the power charger. Well, you figure it out. You know what it looks like.